Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mott. What I want to do is kind of go through a little introduction to oxidation reduction and see how it applies to galvanic or sometimes called voltaic cells. These are what we'd normally consider uh, to be a, uh, a battery and, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to give you some insight about how these work and uh, how you identify the anode, the cathode, and things like that. Uh, so the first thing we want to do, if we can look at this reaction that we've written, this would be sort of a half reaction uh, with uh, zinc and turning into its ion form, zinc 2 plus. And so first thing what we'd want to be able to do is really be able to kind of describe what's happening in this case. And so if I were to write this uh, half reaction, what I'd want you to be able to take away from this is that the zinc, which is in its atom form, we don't normally write the, the zero in there, but uh, technically it's a zero charge. Um, and so what I would want you to take away from this is that the zinc atom uh, is losing electrons uh, to become zinc two plus. Now, whenever you're losing electrons, uh, that's called oxidation, okay? And so uh, it's been a little while since we studied oxidation reduction, so we'll give you some mnemonic devices to remember how to um, identify oxidation reductions here in a little bit, okay? So this half reaction would describe zinc atom uh, turning into its ion by losing electrons, and losing electrons is oxidation, okay? If we look at another reaction, and let's say that we had copper 2 plus ion plus 2 electrons going into copper 0. So what we'd want you to take away from this is that this copper 2 plus ion is gaining electrons. So we can say that copper 2 plus ion is gaining 2 electrons. to become uh, the copper atom. So we can say the Cu0 atom. And when you're gaining electrons, this is reduction. Okay. And so <clears throat> uh, we want to have those ter that terminology kind of uh, down pad in terms of oxidation and reduction. Um, these terms uh, kind of have a, an older origin, and, and sometimes they sort of intuitively make sense, sometimes they don't. Um, o the term oxidation came from reactions in, uh, involving uh, oxygen, so therefore the word oxidation. Um, reduction involves um, the idea that if you were to take a copper compound or uh, that's in stone, you'd call it copper ore, um, Oftentimes that copper or any, any other metal ion is in a compound form uh, and it's in a big rock. And so what you would have to do then is to, in the process of turning that copper ion to copper atom, so we could use the copper for things, you would have to actually reduce the size of that rock uh, quite a bit. Um, so uh, typically in class we watch this video of the uh, Kennecott copper mine uh, which shows you that process. But anyway, that's kind of the idea. So um, in these two reactions, we have a process where one reaction is losing electrons, the other one is gaining electrons. And you need both of those two things happening uh, to make a battery work. So uh, what we can do is kind of look at these both together and say, how would this be working together? And so we might write a reaction, for instance, that Zn0 plus Cu2 plus turns into Zn2 plus and copper zero. And so in this, uh, in this reaction, what we would want to be able to take away is sort of a combination of what we wrote in blue uh, is that uh, the zinc atom, okay, we can even write the zero there, um, is donating donates two electrons to the copper two plus ion, okay? 
Um, another way of kind of describing that, we could say that the zinc atom oxidizes to become uh, the zinc two plus ion. And similarly, we could talk about what's happening with the, um, the copper two plus, the copper two plus ion uh, reduces or is, is being reduced. So we'll say reduces since I already started that. Copper ion, copper two plus ion reduces to become Cu zero. All right. So when we look at our batteries here in a moment, um, our galvanic cells, what we want to really take away from this is that um, in a galvanic cell or voltaic cell, oxidation and reduction are taking place both at the same time. And really the way that um, a galvanic cell or a nor what we'd normally call a, a regular non-rechargeable battery is, is that there's really two parts to it. Um, and in one part, oxidation is happening, and the other part, reduction is happening. All right. Some other terminology that we can kind of introduce you to, um, which helps us remember all these different terms and what they mean. Um, so from, uh, and this part is, is a little review, Leo goes Ger. Okay, so we remember that, and so uh, here we have Leo. So we say that losing electrons is oxidation, and gaining electrons, gaining electrons is reduction. So typically we say Leo goes grr because Leo the lion is going gonna, is gonna to roar, is going to make that sound, and it helps us remember it. Another mnemonic device is that uh, you'll see sometimes is oil rig. So oxidation is losing, reduction is gaining. So those are two most common ones you see. Uh, we typically have our little stuffed animal lion uh, in the classroom, so we usually say Leo goes grr um, as a way to remember that. Some other mnemonic devices to help us remember some of the things that we're going to learn here. We can say an, ox, ate, a, red, cat. An, ox, ate, a, red, cat. And so what that helps us remember is what's happening in oxidation and where in the cell this would take place. So we say that oxidation... Okay, from the ox there. Oxidation happens at the anode. Okay, so oxidation happens at the anode and reduction happens at the cathode. Uh, something that Paul Anderson kind of pointed out was that uh, we look at the letters, oxidation and anode both start with a vowel uh, reduction and cathode both start with a consonant. Uh, and so that's sort of uh, a good way to remember those two things. Uh, and then also looking at a battery, we can, in order to remember the, how the flow of electrons goes, so the flow of electrons, we can remember fat cat. Okay. So fat cat helps us remember that electrons flow from the anode to the cathode, okay? And all of these mnemonic devices and terminology um, are gonna help us understand um, how, um, how to label all these things. Some of the terminology don't necessarily aren't, aren't intuitive and so um, hopefully these mnemonic devices will help us kind of going forward. So hopefully that's been a good intro video. Um, and what I'm going to do now is record a secondary video going through how do we determine all these different parts and what's going on in a galvanic cell.